wars are fought by bulldozers as well as tanks, planes, and foot soldiers. And here's the Atomic Age bulldozer, complete with armored, radiation-shielded cab, being tested at the AEC Proving Ground. Of course, it can't withstand a close blast impact, but hot fallout doesn't bother dozer or driver. Within seconds after the blast, the rugged earth mover can be at work within the target area, clearing rubble or plowing aside contaminated earth, as here in these Defense Department films. Operation Cleanup for the Atomic Age. <laughs> Top seated Ashley Cooper in the near court, and Mal Anderson, who was unseated. One for Anderson against his country's national champ. Anderson serves. Anderson wins, the first unseated player ever to take the big crown. An outsider is now the big hero of the day. Vice President Nixon presents the trophies to two big winners, Althea Gibson and Mal Anderson. Today, a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. Here, an artist's conception of how the feat was accomplished. A three-stage rocket. Number one, the booster in the class of an intercontinental missile. Its weight estimated at 50 tons. The smaller second stage took over at 5,000 miles an hour and carried on to the highest point reached. 500 miles up, the artificial moon is boosted to a speed counterbalancing the pull of gravity and released. You are hearing the actual signals transmitted by the Earth-circling satellite. One of the great scientific feats of the age. World Series fever grips Milwaukee and County Stadium is decked out to put the Indian sign on the New York Yankees. Trailing two to one in games, the Braves need this one to stay alive. Elston Howard facing Warren Spahn. Braves leading four to one, two out in the ninth inning. The roof falls in on Milwaukee fans. Howard's homer is a three one blast that ties it up. Vera and McDougall, who had single pre-seed Howard across the plate, and then joined in the adulation for the Yanks' converted first baseman. The gloom thickened in Milwaukee when the Yanks went ahead in the 10th. But the Braves fought back. They have a runner in scoring position. With Johnny Logan up. Logan doubles to left, and Mantilla races home to knock the score. Bob Grimm is now pitching for New York. Eddie Matthews is standing in. The count goes up. So do the tensions. It's a home run for Matthews, and the Braves win the fourth game to tie up the series at two games apiece. The Braves also won the fifth game, one to nothing. So now it's back to New York and baseball destiny.